Hello students, my name is George Douglas and I'm a teacher at St. Bruno Parish for Sunday School. Today I want to talk to you about Banigia, our most holy and special protectress. We, as Orthodox Christians, have a great reverence and love for Banigia. Many people when they have problems pray to Banigia and ask her to pray to her son or intercede about their problems. In the difficult moments of our life, we look to Banya for help because she is human, just like us, and understands our difficulties and problems. If you speak to your parents and grandparents, you will learn about the many miracles Banya has performed in their lives. In fact, I guess that if you speak to your grandparents and parents today, they will all know or have heard of a miracle Banya has done for someone. But having said all of this, what do we really know about Banigia? Firstly, the Bible does not tell us much about her life. Only one of the four Gospels, that are the books written about the life of Jesus, mention her briefly. Everything, everything we know about her has been passed down from tradition. Secondly, she is our great comfort, our protectress, just like we said before. We can turn to Banya in any moment of our need, and she will help us. Thirdly, she lived and was full of virtue and good works. Her whole life is a lesson of humility. She never once made herself the center of attention, even when she could have done so easily. She also lived a life of prayer. Remember that her parents took her to live at a temple from a very young age. Imagine if your parents took you to live in a church or a monastery from young. How hard would it have been not to see your friends and family? Yet Baniya embraced God and lovingly offered her life to Him, living every day in prayer and humility. We also know that she had a great love for us and all who call out to her and her son. She protects and watches over us all. Today, I would like to share with you a most amazing miracle which involves Baniya that some people experience. During the violent and terrible times of World War II, the Germans invaded Greece. During this time, many Germans came to occupy villages and hurt many of the faithful. Once, a group of German soldiers came into a monastery which was situated in an island of Greece. The German soldiers ordered the monks to leave the monastery because they wanted to take over and use the area as a military base due to its excellent, excellent strategic position. The abbot, the leader of the monks, agreed to let the German soldiers use the monastery. The other monks were shocked. Imagine giving up a church and a monastery to be used by soldiers for war and enemy soldiers at that. That the abbot was a faithful and wise old man. He told the soldiers that they must first ask the lady in charge of the monastery for permission to use the area. The lady in charge lived in a small room downstairs in an old basement. The lady he was referring to was Baniya, whose icon was in the downstairs room. The German soldiers convinced that they would be able to intimidate this woman eagerly went into the old room to seek permission. Until this day, no one knows exactly what happened, but what we do know is that these tough and ferocious Germans, very shortly after entering that room, ran out as fast as their feet could carry them. Their faces were full of fear. They left the island and were never seen again. You see, this is just one miracle of the protection that Pania gives us. She is constantly helping the Orthodox Christians who pray to her and her son, asking for help. Our church, and especially Christ, have a special love for Banya because she is so good. What are some good qualities or virtues of Banya? Take a moment to think and even pause this video and write some down for yourself. To start with, she was very humble and she never showed off. You have to remember that when Christ died, she could have easily chosen worldly glory as the mother of Christ, the true God. Many people have gladly gone to visit and see her 
but instead she chose a life of humility and let others preach to the people, like the apostles. She lived a life of prayer. She is an example to us of someone who loved prayer and loved to speak with God. Every saint and holy person we have ever heard of is similar in this way. We need to be able to pray and pray to God often. This is, this is essential in our lives. She also had compassion and loved her fellow man. The countless miracles we hear are evidence of this. How can we doubt how much Bania loves and protects us? To help us understand Bania's virtue, I will describe a few details from her life. The fact that Bania spent her early childhood and teenage years in Nazareth is very significant. Nazareth in those days was a very bad city. A lot of sin and awful things occurred in that city. Even the children there had bad habits. Despite the bad environment surrounding her though, Bania stayed strong in her faith and did not allow others to influence her. This is important for us as young students in schools, not to be influenced by the bad behaviour we may see from others around us, but to stay strong in our own faith. Another point that shows the great virtue of Bania is the time when she returned after visiting her cousin Elizabeth for three months and was coming home with pre her pregnancy beginning to show. Joseph was troubled when he saw her. The only thought Joseph had was that Bania was having a child with another man. How could he have possibly imagined what really happened? That Bania was pregnant miraculously by the Holy Spirit. Bania must have been afraid to show Joseph and see how he would react. In those days, men would often kill women for falling into these types of sins. Bania had full trust in God though, because she was following God's will. She knew that God would help her and protect her no matter what, and he did. An angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and revealed the truth to him. How can we emulate Bania? It is important that we learn to be humble. Bania was so holy yet she never thought highly of herself. We often don't do much good, and yet we still think we deserve praise, recognition, and get angry when we are criticized. Also, when people around us do bad things, say bad words, or hurt others, we need to be very careful not to do as they do or be influenced by them. Sometimes it takes a lot of courage to stand up to our friends or even be willing to look or be the old one out for not doing something which we know is wrong. We too should aim to be courageous and never be scared to do the right thing. We can just say a prayer to God to help us and then proceed. I'm sure you can think of situations that require, require courage in your own life. Finally, Bania is kind and loving, so we too must be kind and loving to others. For example, if our parents ask us to do a job or help out in some way, we need to remember to show love and not to think of what we want, but gladly help out and show kindness, just like the Bania does with us. To finish off our short lesson, I'd like to remind you that we can pray to the Bania. She will always listen to those who humbly ask her for prayer, who humbly ask her for help. We can pray to her using our own words, or we can repeat the small prayer, Iberaia Theodokia Sosnimas, or in English, most holy Theodokos save us. Bania loves us very much and she will protect us throughout our life. We should try to imitate her, become better than what we are now. Especially in this month of August, in which we remember Bania, her dormition or falling asleep, and we honour her through prayer and fasting. May the Bania watch us all and protect us.